Okay, so it seems like you're going through a lot of anxiety uh, right now over your uh, current um, financial situation. Uh, there is abundance, it seems, that is coming to you. So it seems, uh, you know, you're, you're pretty anxious. You might be anxious because you haven't gotten the abundance yet or you're waiting for it to come in. But this hand is full and it looks like it might be, you know, uh, finance coming in from an international source because you've got the world in the hand over there. Uh, so it might be something that you're doing maybe over the internet or maybe you're starting a new business and this is the reason why you're very, very anxious about the whole thing. But it looks like money is coming in for you. Um, there's a very uh, important person involved in it. Uh, somehow there's a grey or fair-haired man uh, that will be very instrumental. And this man is looking to the future, so this is somebody that is going to play an important part in maybe... Um, constructing your future income or m might be somebody who plays a part in your future income. So in the past, you've got, uh, you know, being uh, very, very spiritual in the sense that you've been praying for this uh, finances to come in. You've been, uh, you know, trying to manifest it. Uh, and also you've been doing a lot of things that were, um, you know, where you used your instincts uh, to try and attract money to you. So you've been, maybe you've been uh, using the, the law of attraction uh, or praying about it so that the money comes in. Uh, you've got the women of the world over here, so you might have been doing a lot of traveling recently as well. Uh, or there might be somebody that you know on, you know, who travels quite a bit, who is very, very involved. Um, and maybe it's somebody from your past as well, um, who you've been uh, associating with. And it's, uh, sh this person has been important in, um, what happens with your money or with regards to money. Now going into the future, you've got reconciliation and you've got a bridge being built over here. So there's somebody that you need to reach out to uh, in order for you to make, uh, to improve your financial situation. Uh, you know, you might have, uh, you might need to actually um, reconcile with this person. They might be able to uh, lead you, um, you know, towards uh, um, more prosperity or there might be somebody that you need to, um, contact uh, from the past um, maybe you did you maybe had some kind of falling out with them or maybe you moved away from them but it is somebody that is important that you need to re reconcile with in order for you to bring this money in uh, so um, you know reaching out to somebody from the past you know maybe sending your CV to an old company or um, you know trying to contact somebody from the past in order for you to move forward and it says, have a lot of faith. So you've got the candle burning over here. So you need to have a lot of faith in what you're doing. So don't give up hope. It seems like, you know, even though, you, you know, you are very stressed out, there is somebody that you do need to get together with. Uh, or you need to, um, you know, um, put your lot in with that particular person in order for you to uh, bring in this abundance into your life. This might be a, a, a male. This might be that fair-haired man that you need to actually contact or reconcile with or in some sort of financial way, you need to actually make a contact with this particular person in order for you to move forward or to bring that abundance in. Maybe this person has a message for you or this person has the... Um, uh, the way or the means in which um, gives will give you that advice on how to actually move forward and just have a lot of faith. So this is the energy for that uh, two weeks. So I'm using the Tarot of New Vision for the main read. I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so you've got uh, the Knight of Wands over here. And it looks like, you know, you might be thinking of moving home or moving away from where you were, um, you know, traveling uh, in order for you to um, get a new job. Or your work might be taking you traveling. So uh, there's a lot of movement as far as your work goes. If there's a lot of energy. It doesn't seem like you're sitting in one particular place. You might actually be, have found a job somewhere else. You might need to put out some international communication as well. So you might need to actually go, uh, you know, stop thinking about, um, you know, getting a job on a local um, um, sphere, you might actually need to branch out or you might need to expand. Uh, your your job, like I said, might be taking you um, traveling as well. So you might be relocating or moving around a lot with this job because there's a lot of energy with this Knight 
um, of wands over here. You know, it's you know fast moving energy. Uh, sometimes it, it generally means moving to a warmer country. You've got these people here at the pyramids. So you might have to do something that you wouldn't really think about doing. Uh, this might take you away from your home. Uh, so this is about travel and this is about, you know, traveling with your work. So what's happening with you? You've got the um, Nine of Pentacles over here and the Knave of Wands. So the Nine of Pentacles is all about, uh, you know, abundance. But there seems to be a wall in front of this person here. You can see that although they have... Um, money, they, you know, they've got just enough in that garden to sustain them. Um, you know, they're thinking about the future or thinking about moving on, but something seems to be blocking. Um, you know, maybe they're trying to put out, maybe you're trying to put out some communication and you haven't really gotten to it. You're waiting. It's almost like you're waiting for something to happen. Uh, you're waiting for some, maybe some message to come in and there seems to be some delays in it. Or maybe you're thinking of leaving, but there's something that's preventing you from leaving that particular situation. But all in all, this is a very independent person. So you are financially independent. You are having to sort out all the bills and everything um, that you pay for yourself. It doesn't seem like there's any kind of financial support for you. It, you, it, you seem to be uh, doing everything by yourself and spending, you know, maybe a lot of time by yourself as well. Um, now, this is also about planning to travel. So the Knave of Wands is about, um, you know, making plans uh, to move forward or to move on um, you know it seems like maybe there was a separation between you and somebody else so maybe you're leaving an old job or you're leaving an old company um, but you have make you are making plans to move forward so it seems like you want to move or you want to travel and you've got both you've got the knave of one and a knave of um, the knight of wands and the, um, the knave of wands so maybe you're thinking about doing something on a very international basis and maybe there's something that is stopping you. Maybe there is a, somebody that is preventing you from moving forward. It seems like you want to expand your horizons, but there seems to be some kind of obstacle in your way. So what's happened in the past? So, it, you know, it seems like, um, you know, you're very disappointed about something. You Going through a phase of regret, you know, things that you didn't do, uh, you know, you may have lost... Um, uh, you know, you might be feeling really, really unsupported because you can see these people are walking away from this man and he's very disappointed. So, you know, there might have been something that you didn't get to do or you're regretting certain decisions that you made in the past. Maybe you've it's left you all alone. Um, you're certainly very depressed about the whole thing and you're feeling very, very lonely as well. Very, very unsupported as well. You know, it's this is the crying over spilt milk um, card. I don't like to say it's, uh, you know, read it like that. But it is about regretting things that you didn't do and you're very focused on it as well maybe you're going over and over the situation in your mind about the things that you could have done to get where you were and you know you haven't gotten uh, achieved the the goals that you set in your mind um, you know you can't change the past you can only make do or change the future really so instead of sitting and crying over the things that you never accomplished you should concentrate on the, on the things that you can accomplish and start setting some really uh, practical reasonable goals that you will be able to fulfill now you've got the lovers card over here in the last three months it looks like there has been a choice that you have made um, a decision and it also seems like you know a decision to expand your horizons uh, you know you seem to be um, maybe leaving something behind or leaving somebody behind there seems to be a breakdown of communication between you and somebody else uh, and there is a, a a decision that has to be made or you are facing some kind of choice maybe the choice is about leaving this person behind and moving forward expanding you're trying to put your energies and focus on the future now, what's going on with you? Uh, in your mind, you've got uh, the Four of s uh, Swords over here. And this is about really uh, being very stressed out and needing to be um, to recover from, uh, you know, um, some kind of stress illness. Um, you need to clear your mind about all the negative thoughts that you're going through. Um, you know, it seems like whatever's happening is is taking its toll on you and maybe you're even going through a period of illness at the moment and you're trying to recover from that um, there seems to be some kind of um, advice or support that is going on over here uh, you know you might have been even um, you know dealing with hospital situations where you um this has prevented you from working um, and this is also whatever this um, is your you know it seems like you've had some kind of um, a breakup in the past because this is the three of swords um, you're dealing with 
and you've got the four of sword, the fourth sword lying next to you. So you are making plans for the future, but it seems like there was some kind of problem that you faced that was really upsetting to you uh, and you're trying to deal with that particular problem maybe you had you were let go from a job or you lost a job um, and this is what you're dealing with and maybe this is the reason why you're going through this feeling of of regret maybe you've been trying to find yourself a job and can't do it and now you regret that you haven't done the things or maybe there are things that you need to complete uh, in order for you to to move on and, uh, you know, maybe this is why you're taking, you're having a little bit of a break from the situation uh, and trying to make plans, trying to think. You're also trying to communicate your ideas to whole, you know, to people as well. Um, but you are actually, you know, trying to get everything organized in your mind and trying to find yourself a new vision about what you want to do. Um, it looks like there might be some friend that you want to reach out to. That you've got this um, man... Um, this is a monk reaching out to this dog here. So there's somebody that is very faithful as a friend that you may need to reach out to. And this might be the contact that you need in order for you to move forward. Now, going to the future, you've got the death card over here. So it seems like, you know, you have uh, left an old situation uh, and have moved on from that. So you may have left an old job. You may have left an old kind of financial situation. There was certainly some kind of relationship that has broken up or some kind of uh, parting with the past that you have done. So um, something has come, you know, you have moved away from, from that old situation and, um, and broken off ties with it. So maybe you've left an old job and you're, you're planning on moving, uh, you know, expanding your horizons. Maybe you're planning on traveling. It seems like you do want, maybe there is a new job offer somewhere on the table and you're or considering a new offer that will take you out of that old financial situation you are and move you out, um, you know, out into the world. And it does seem like you are thinking of traveling uh, to work. And here you've got, again, the three of wands. So this is going out, uh, you know, moving away from an old work situation, collaborating on an international front, collaborating with a lot of people, um, you know, communicating with a lot of people and making a lot of plans. And also this is working with a group of people. So it seems like, you know, you are expanding your horizons and moving on from that old situation. Now you've got the sun coming in over here. So this looks like, uh, you know, as far as your work situation goes, this changes everything um, it also looks like you know you are moving forward and this job that uh, this looks like uh, you know a job offer or uh, that job that you will be doing um, you know it's going to require a lot of hard work it's a brand new start for you and it's also going to bring in a lot of abundance and it's going to bring in a lot of travel as well with the sun card so it looks like there's something that you're going to be doing on an international basis and you're going to be moving with this a lot you've got the world card as well over here so this is the end of that old cycle that you went through but this is also about work and international travel and there's something that you're taking out into the world that nobody else can do you're a bit scared of it as well but it looks like this is coming in for you as well so it looks like whatever you've been doing you have let it go let go of the old job situation and now you're planning to move on to the international front or whatever you're doing you're moving away from your um you know regular home base and you're moving on to the international front now you've got the hierophant over here uh, the chariot and you've got the queen of wands so with the Hierophant, it's talking about uh, whatever you're doing is, you know, you're giving a lot of advice uh, to people um, and um, whatever work you're doing involves a lot of communication and it's a lot of, you know, maybe you're communicating like um, something that's traditional, traditional values, traditional ideas, uh, maybe you're on maybe even working on the internet uh, and doing some kind of um, advice, giving some kind of advice. Uh, but you're certainly focused on that. And that is the thing that is going to bring in money. This could also be working with big institutions. And, you know, and your capacity in that is about advising. Uh, um, so, you know, you could be working in some kind of big financial um, uh, institute. Um, it could be something in the medical field, uh, because this is the card ruled by Taurus. And that is what, um, you know, it rules. It all, you know, it rules finances, um, uh, medicine, um, pharmaceuticals, that kind of thing. So whatever you're doing, um, you know, it, it involves giving advice to a lot of people. And this seems to be, um, you know, where... Um, this is where your strength lies in. And there's a lot of communication going on. You might be working with a lot of toxic people as well. So some, you know, some of the people that you're working with are not very, very supportive. There might be things going on behind your back that you're not quite aware of. Um, 
with this particular card. So, um, you know, it's really an advice to really just watch your back as well when you're working. So, uh, but all in all, you know, it's a very positive card and it's about communicating big ideas and also uh, um, a card about giving and receiving advice as well. So maybe you do need to go and do a lot of research. If you're looking for a job, maybe this is the route that you need to go down uh, where you actually go and seek advice, uh, seek some kind of professional advice about what to do next. Um, now uh, you've got the chariot card and like I said again, it is about uh, movement. But you can also see these two people are chained to this particular job. So even though uh, whatever you're doing is going to bring in a lot of success, you've got all these people, um, you know, cheering on, you're going to have to toe the line. So, you know, it, it seems like you're going to have to, uh, you know, maybe bow down to whatever um, that institute, because this is, the Hierophant is, is an institution. So it seems like, you know, working for a big company, but having to follow all the rules and toe the line and, you know, maybe work very long hours. With the Sun card, it's about working long hours uh, and, you know, being, um, giving a lot of your energy to that particular job uh, in order for you to see or to reap the benefits of it. Um, it looks like with the Queen of Wands, there is somebody there um, to support you. Um, you can see this Queen of Wands giving this person advice. So there is somebody there that will uh, support you, give you advice, and show you how things are done. Uh, but all in all, maybe you are feeling, you know, all, because you will have to work so hard, because these are almost like slave labor, uh, this particular job that you'll be doing, um, you know, and towing the line and, in, in, you know, to move forward. Um, you will need that help and advice from somebody around you. So seek out, um, you know, somebody. This could be a fire sign person. Queen of Wands could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But generally, this person is higher up in the hierarchy of that company that you're working with. And it is a company um, or, or some kind of big institute. And you will need to get some advice on how to actually move forward in order to, to bring that abundance in. You can see she's sitting with this basket. She knows um, how things are done. So this is somebody that you need to consult in order order for you to, um, you know, progress. Um, so it will be, you know, hard work. Uh, and you might feel as though, you know, you're very chained to that particular job. Uh, and it is a, a, some kind of job in a big company. So if you don't have a job, this seems to be the route that you will go down. And if you already are working, then this is what it seems that you do need to get some advice from this Queen of Pentacles. And she will be able to help you uh, bring in that abundance or even get that promotion that you want um, by consulting with her. So it seems like, you know, um, you are leaving behind something, um, something old. You are moving away from it. And it seems like there's a lot of travel that's going to be involved. Um, you can see that, uh, you know, you are considering it. There might be some kind of obstacle to that travel, but it looks like you are making that decision. You're making plans to move on. And there's a lot of international collaboration going on over here. So a lot of communication going on over here. And with this Knight of Wands, it's generally moving to do a job somewhere else. So it seems like that's coming in for you. And stop, uh, try to stop um, you know, looking at that past and regretting about the things that you uh, you haven't done. Conce concentrate on the future um, because it seems like, you know, things, although hard work might be involved, it looks like you will progress and you will meet the right people that will show you the way. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot. And the first card is the five of summer. And this says, trust that there's is a reason that everything happens. Remove yourself from negative emotions of others and focusing on what frightens you or worries you. So try not to be negative and uh, know that, you know, whatever happened, happened for a reason. And uh, it is something that you can use um, in your life as, it, as an experience and as a stepping stone to success. As they say, every failure is a stepping stone to success. So don't think of it as being something that you didn't do right or don't beat yourself over it just use the experiences and move forward and then you've got the three of summer which says news worth celebrating announcements such as weddings graduations or births friends you cherish so there's something that's good that is coming in some good news coming in for you maybe it is to do with regards to this job uh, and it's going to be uh, a reason for you to celebrate and then you've got the ten of winter which is the, ten of, um, the end of an old cycle which says the resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulder, the end of addiction or codependency. So whatever that situation is, looks like the sun's coming out over here and uh, it's the end of the 
problems that you were facing uh, and uh, whatever has been uh, you know preventing you from moving on it looks like uh, all that stress uh, is resolved and you are able to move on. So any anxiety that you're feeling, it seems that there is going to be a resolution of that anxiety and some good news coming in for you to to move on. Um, so if you're looking for a job, it looks like some news is coming in for you. Uh, and if you're in a job, there's some good news coming in as well. But make sure that you're going and speaking to this woman, the Queen of Wands, uh, you know, somebody in upper management, uh, and she's going to be the person that helps you move forward uh, and helps you or shows you the ropes, really. But it looks like there's a lot of travel and a lot of movement coming in for you. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to watch my new video series on energy um, healing techniques. Um, thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.